And now tonight for you, I keep it like a secret, it is Allie Reingold. Hey guys, how you doing? Good. All right. So uh, I was at the bar last week with some girlfriends, and uh, one of them at one point said, I'm going to go to Whole Foods and get a cookie. Does anyone want anything? And I said, yeah, cookie sounds good. I'll have a cookie. She said, okay, what kind do you want? And I said, well... I want a chocolate chip cookie, but only if it's like soft and chewy. And I went into some detail about the kind of cookie I was interested in. She said, okay, what if they don't have that kind of cookie there? And I said, well then forget it. I don't want it. They don't have that there. My other friend chimed in. She was like, do you think maybe you're being a little too picky? And I was like, look, is it so wrong to know what I want and refuse to settle? So my friend ran off to Whole Foods and came back, and lo, she had brought back the most amazing chocolate chip cookie ever. It was soft, chewy, chocolatey. It was great. I was like, this is it. See? You mocked me for having standards, but there is a cookie out there for me. Somewhere. <laughs> this really did happen with the cookie, but it's also a metaphor. <laughs> Uh, dating is, I've found, to be hard in this town. Uh, I'll give you an example of a message I once received on OkCupid. Okay it said verbatim, Tell me, have you dated well-established older man in his 40s? I am Marcelo. <laughs> and in case you didn't catch that, he did write well-established. <laughs> I thought to myself, yeah, I have been looking for a well-established older man. I hope he has high self-esteem. <laughs> and drives a scalade. I can only imagine the kind of scapades we'll embark on. <laughs> oh, it's silly, silly, silly. But uh, relationships are hard too, right? Like, have you ever been in a relationship that you knew wasn't good for you, but you kept doing it anyway? You tried to convince yourself it was working, but if you were honest with yourself, like you weren't even really enjoying it anymore. <laughs> You've been there? I think I'm in that kind of a relationship uh, with peanut butter. Because <laughs> I know what I do with it isn't healthy, but I keep going back. I, ma I make excuses, you know? I'm like, well, it's not the peanut butter's fault. It doesn't mean to make me feel gross and stupid <laughs> when I eat six spoonfuls of it in a row. The thing is, when I'm not with it, I look forward to it, you know? I convince myself, I'm like, oh, this is gonna be good. It's gonna be different this time. And it is good at first, right? The first spoonful or two are great. It's sweet, crunchy, creamy. It feels right. I'm like, man, I love you, peanut butter. And then a couple more spoonfuls in, and I'm just like, ugh, this doesn't feel good. <laughs> What am I doing? Why am I doing this? I remember now why I said it was gonna stop. I don't like who I am when I'm with peanut butter. <laughs> but even then, I'll keep eating, right? Until my self-respect is so low, I'm like raising the spoon to my mouth in disgust. Just like, ah, I'm not even hungry anymore. <laughs> so then finally I put it away and I'm like, okay, Allie, that was the last time. Can't keep doing this. You're better than this. You deserve better. But then eventually, inevitably, I'll go back into the kitchen and there's the jar of peanut butter. Just being so coy. I'm just like, ah, I can't quit you. <laughs> Does anybody else do this with peanut butter? Just eat spoonfuls of it straight out of the jar? Do you? Yeah? You do? Yeah? Stay the fuck away from my boyfriend. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Go for it. But good luck. Don't say I didn't warn you, okay? Uh, by the way, I'm not trying to make fun of abusive relationships. Those are not funny. Uh, I'm just making fun of my personal relationship with peanut butter, which is funny. <laughs> uh, no, I'm kidding, though. Of course, uh, peanut butter is not my boyfriend. Uh, that would be silly. My, my boyfriend is great. He is my cat. Terwilliger Van Buren. Uh, thank you guys so much. You've been great. I'm Allie Rangel.